2017 Ram Power Wagon. Miles per gallon on a uh, pretty decent little highway loop. This is how we're gonna run this test today. The uh, outside temperature is 64 degrees. We don't have any AC on whatsoever. All the windows are gonna stay shut. If you look in that rear view, uh, you can see we have the Tonto cover on the back of the bed. And we're gonna basically run this in cruise control on 55 miles an hour, which is the speed limit in this part of Virginia. So we're just taking our time uh, to get up to 55. We'll then let it drop back down and we'll see how the Hemi does. Okay, one more thing. We're gonna do our best to eco drive this right now. So all of our acceleration is actually going off the uh, um, cruise control. We just used a little hand button right there to go up and down the speed. We're gonna fold in our mirrors right now for this long haul. Uh, I'm staying in the right hand lane. I can use my rear view mirror, no issue. I'm not planning on switching lanes whatsoever. If I do switch, obviously I'm gonna kick back over or put the mirrors back out. We're gonna keep our miles per gallon at that exact moment right up here in front of us so we can also tell what's going on. On any steep hills, we're gonna back off the speed just a little bit by a couple miles per gallon or a couple miles per hour. As we're going downhill, we're gonna increase our speed by a couple miles per hour. So is this hyper mile in it? You can kind of call it a hyper mile setup, but we're just gonna to try to get the best fuel economy we can at approximately 55 miles per gallon average for about a 40 mile loop going home and see what we can do on this 2500 Ram platform with a 6.4 liter Hemi. It should be worth noting that the 6.4 liter Hemi does have a pretty aggressive cylinder deactivation coating onto it and um, it should kick down into four cylinder mode and stay there quite a bit. So for example, we have a pretty steep hill right up here in front of us. As soon as I see the miles per gallon start to drop, which it is right now, I'm gonna actually come off on a cruise control by a couple miles per gallon, four miles per gallon off, and you can see it immediately kicks the miles per gallon way back up into the 30s. Now we're getting the steepest part of the hill. I'm gonna come down on my miles per hour just a little bit more. I'm gonna to try to maintain 16 to 17 miles per gallon. As it drops off again right there, we're gonna drop down one more miles per hour. I don't have any cross traffic right now. I really don't care, I'm not in a hurry. As we start to crest the top of this hill, which will be there in just a second, we're gonna have a big downhill and that's where we're gonna accelerate and we're gonna get our average miles per hour. I keep messing up miles per hour, miles per gallon back up. So right here, we're going on a downhill section. So now we're gonna slowly with the cruise control in the bottom right hand corner, tick that up. We do about one mile adjustment every three or four seconds. So by the bottom of this hill, we should be going about 60 miles an hour. And we're doing that increase um, in speed while still maintaining really good current miles per gallon. So we started to drop off there, so we're gonna come back just a little bit. Okay, we're at 58. So when we drop off just a little bit like that, as our miles per gallon starts to drop, we just bring it back down and lock it in at 55. All right, guys. So that's how we're gonna do this to uh, try to get the best miles per gallon we can out of the 6.4 liter Hemi. It's just a little bit of fun. It's a short trip, but uh, you know sometimes it's kind of cool to see what you can do with some of these motors if you take your time. All right, we're still climbing. Um, but I want to show you, you can see right here, we're locked in on cruise control now, back on cruise. Locked it in at 1,000 RPMs, and we're averaging 17 miles per gallon with a 19.7 average as we're climbing. And again, guys, this is a 2500 Ram Power Wagon on Nito Ridge Grappler tires. Not too bad. Now, you see it drop down dramatically as we hit this really steep part of this hill. Uh, the camera's not doing these hills any justice, I'm for sure of that. But uh, you'll see that shoot back up pretty quick. Again, our goal on this short trip is to hit 20 miles per gallon average over the course of this trip, just to prove that it can be done. So let's go down here to our secondary screen. Um, see if we can focus there just a little bit. 19.5 ain't bad for 20 miles so far, guys, but we, we're, we should hopefully hit the 20 mile per gallon mark. All right, guys. I want to show you the power of coasting, okay? The speed limit through is only 25 miles per hour. 
And just by coasting, I'm not touching the gas. I'm still in drive. I could actually coast a little better in neutral, but I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I'm getting up to speed just slowly. So this is a very slight downhill area with some hills right in front of us. But I know this area well, and I know if I coast, I can maintain just enough speed to maintain good fuel economy and then roll right over these hills without ever having to touch the gas. So again, our miles per gallon is still good on the instant. You know what I mean? We're down to 45, 40. We're slowing down dramatically over that steep little hill. We have another steep little bump right here in front of us. That's okay. It slows us down to five miles below the speed limit. But again, there's nobody around us. So what's the hurry? Nobody's behind us. So take your time. Let the car now re-accelerate going down the hill. Now you didn't feel it, but this transmission is holding us up a little bit. So I'm not a really big fan of popping into neutral, popping back into gear, back in the neutral, back into gear. I think it's got to be hard on the transmission. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I'm not sure. But we're just now changing to 35 miles per hour. But I've got to turn right here in about 100 yards. So what's the point of accelerating, wasting gas, just to jump back on the brakes, just to make a right-hand turn? When I can just coast like I've been doing, and I'm coasting at 25 miles per hour, and I'm averaging, you know, my instant fuel economy is really, really good. And again, we're up right now to 19.6 miles per gallon average on this trip. And let me show you our uh, 23.7 miles we've traveled, basically 24 miles. And again, we're averaging on a 2017 Power Wagon riding on aftermarket Nito Ridge Grapplers, 19.5, 19.6 miles per gallon. That's not bad, guys. I mean, that's really not bad. Now, we have to get back here and get on these dirt roads. Uh, the roads are all rutted out and washed out right now because of all these storms we've had. So that's going to dramatically decrease our fuel economy. But we'll still run it just for fun, see how we do. Okay, guys, on this little trip, we're about to turn off hardball onto dirt. And we are averaging right now 19 and a half miles per gallon on a 25 mile loop. So we've gone 25 miles right about here in a couple seconds. It'll hit 25 like it just did. And we're averaging 19.5 miles a gallon. Now, our miles per gallon is gonna drop rather significantly here in just a little bit because we have to go somewhat slow um, on our roads. We have about five miles of dirt road that we need to traverse to get back to the cabin. And um, you can see the road's not in good condition right now. So I've gotta go slow. It's, there's just a lot going on and it just beats you know all these vehicles to death you can see all these running out potholes here so again this kills our miles per gallon but we'll uh we're gonna do our best just to modulate the throttle still try to keep the truck in four cylinder mode as best we can and try not to lose all of our gains that we had on hardball but i think it's a great example that yes these trucks are not that fuel economy of course however I was just coming through the mountains, guys. I was going through hills. So if I would have been on a flat highway and I could have truly locked in the cruise control and just let this thing do its own thing, I would have easily been getting in the you know, low 20s, 21, 22 uh, miles per gallon. But I wasn't. I was coming up and down these hills, um, back on dirt roads, and uh, you know, it, it takes our fuel economy away pretty quick. But not as bad as everybody thinks. Uh, you just have to drive smart non-aggressive and uh just take your time obviously if you floor it if you open the 6.4 hemi all the way up and you get those fuel injectors screaming for more fuel uh yeah i mean it gets horrible miles per gallon but you know that's not why you get a power wagon let me show you why you get a power wagon you get a power wagon for that right there you get a power wagon for that right there you know that's why you get that power wagon Real four wheel drive. Of course, my wife just texted me in the middle of my video. Real four wheel drive and uh, front and rear lockers with a uh, winch. That's what I'm talking about. And again, this is a tremendous amount of roller resistance that cuts into our uh, fuel economy. But um, this is why I also drive a power wagon, guys. Back where we live, you know, when the roads have problems, uh, they have very real problems and it's very difficult to traverse them. We're almost home. Uh, let's see where we're at here. Fuel economy has dropped off dramatically to 18.2 miles a gallon. We've been going uh, 27 miles so far. But uh, these last couple miles of dirt road, a lot of washboarded out road, a lot of little hills here. 
a lot of resistance on the tires because of the condition of the roads right now. Um, you know, it takes it away. But again, I think you can see clearly on the hardball, even going up and down hills left and right, you can still average a pretty decent miles per gallon. See a little deer running right there? <laughs> Looks like a little, uh, a little buck buck. Who knows? See right there on the right hand side? Fire up the driveway, dude. Huh? Crazy little, crazy little deer. Obviously, we have a lot of deer here where we live. Uh, it's mountains and pastures and mountains and pastures. And we're approaching our property here in just a little bit. Again, as you can see, uh, the road's rough where we live. And this kills our fuel economy. We got damn creeks coming right across the road. So, you know, driving through this again, um, this is the road, guys. So it, it kind of messes up our fuel economy. But uh, that's why we try to get the best fuel economy possible on the hardball, knowing that we're going to kind of eat it uh, back here in the mountains. But that's it, guys. We're going to keep shooting some of these videos in the power wagon, and uh, we'll keep you know trying to document how we're doing with this. I've gotten 20 miles per gallon countless times on road trips, as long as you just drive you know, with a little bit of sense when you're on the hardball. Not hard to do at all. Uh-huh. And this is a uh, Virginia maintained road, by the way. It's just uh, not maintained all that well. Anyway, we're home. Put this thing in four wheel drive to get up the driveway, which is kind of mandatory, especially right now after all these storms. You don't put in four wheel drive in my driveway, you're just bouncing and skipping and hopping all the way up. It's pretty, it's pretty nasty. And it gets really steep up here at the top. And a truck, I don't have any weight in the bed. It just bounces and skips the whole way. That's it, guys. Ridgeside K9 2017 Power Wagon Mile Per Gallon Review.